Listen, everybody, we all know that real estate is the most proven way to build wealth. But why isn't everyone wealthy from real estate then? It's hard to know where to start. And most of the education out there is just complete trash. And you end up investing your money on a series of courses instead of in real estate. That's not how this podcast works. We give you the blueprint to successful real estate investing and bring on guests actually willing to share their secrets. I started my real estate investing journey as a freshman in college when I bought my first duplex and have been in the trenches doing deals ever since. And today, I now own hundreds of millions of dollars of investment property. On this podcast, you will learn what you actually need to know to be a successful active or passive real estate investor. And we'll offer our takes on what's happening today so you can navigate this market and build wealth. I'm Drew Brenneman, and this is the Brenneman Blueprint. All right. Welcome back to another episode. Here we go. So big news and wearing my best blue outfit for it today, I guess. I want to announce that I've changed the name of the podcast to the Brenneman Blueprint. I'm sure you noticed that when you were watching or when you're watching or listening to the introduction, uh, we changed. We got a new intro, new outro, refreshed branding to the podcast. I think if you've been paying any attention to me or the podcast at all, you would have realized the the old name was really of the podcast Rise and Invest. That's really a play on words with our old company name, which was Rise Invest. So it made sense with the two together, but on its own, didn't feel like it really made much more much of any sense anymore. So wanted to switch it up and get get something new. And Brenneman Blueprint really liked the sound of that, and sort of wanted to share like a blueprint you know, if you will, of success and how you invest in real estate. I was uh, actually between Blueprint and Playbook and being in the name and then um, decided just to go with my name since I'm so uh, creative, apparently. Uh, and then Blueprint just seemed to match it up better. So um, anyways, that's what went into that. And it's really just going to be the same podcast as before. I'd say we're going to have guests on like usual, but I do want to change up the format some. You know, one thing that I sort of realized doing all these episodes is, you know, some of them, they're pushing, you know, an hour and a half long and there were a lot of good lessons buried in there. But, it, you know, you got to listen to the whole thing, sort of Joe Rogan style, if you will. Um, and I'm no Joe Rogan, so maybe it was tough to get through it. Who knows? But, um, you know, it's, it's to get the info was some of these were a longer listen. So I'm still going to have guests on and hear their story and get their tips. But if probably maybe about half or a third or two thirds. I'm not really sure. I don't have an exact uh, schedule or calendar or anything for the podcast, but you know, r- roughly call it like a third to two thirds. I'm just going to start doing solo episodes now where I'm just going to hit on a topic and just cover that. It's going to be like five to 30 minutes or just however long it takes really. And then just be done. So like, it'll be easy to digest and know what you're about to get into where um, one I want to shoot, you know, coming up will be just one, just on like how to do your first deal. Like what, that's the number one question I get is how do I do my first deal? How do I get into real estate? So, um, like let's just, I'll just shoot an episode on that, but nothing, it's going to be a lot simpler than you think. So that episode, you know, might be only 10 minutes long. There's not, um, not much to it, but I, I don't want to, um, uh, start spitting off how to, how to do that. Yeah. I'll save it for that episode, but try to make it more where if you get, you know, it's going to be, um, a topic and, and then I'll just cover it and then I'm done. So it'll be a little more easier to hit an episode during a commute or, uh, know what you're getting yourself into on those ones. Um, but then still going to try to be booking, um, you know, booking guests like usual, do, do some in person, some remote, going to try to pick up some more remote guests. So then I can just kind of pull from anywhere versus just be, um, Chicago only. So some of the guests I've had on recently, like Levi and Phil, I mean, it's been great, um, doing those remote. I mean, Levi is down in Texas and was an awesome guest. So I was happy to have him on. Um, but yeah, really. So like just to jump into today's episode, if you will, you know, it's a couple weeks, few weeks, whatever it's going to be when this comes out, um, after new year's and, you know, I want to talk about new year's resolutions. Because really, like I have a lot of thoughts on goals and New Year's resolutions. And it's something that I, you know, like you go to the gym and you see all the New Year's resolution folks where they're, you know, going to finally work out uh, and the gym's packed for like a week or two. And so I just want to give my give my thoughts on New Year's resolutions and then we'll be we'll be out of here. So 
My only tip with New Year's resolutions is don't bother making them. Instead, focus on not quitting and focus on the process. So let's say we're talking about going to the gym again. Instead of saying my goals lose weight, just focus on not quitting. Your goal is I'm not going to quit and I'm going to start doing the process. Like my goal is little incremental steps. I'm going to wake up at this time. I'm going to get my gym clothes on. I'm going to actually show up and I'm going to work my butt off. That's, that's how you need to do it. If it's, we're talking about, this is a real estate podcast. Let's say you want to buy your first rental property. Well, don't just, the, the, the thing's not just, I want to buy my rental property. You need to get, get yourself to that point. So what are, what's the process? What are the little steps along the way? If you're just starting out, you need to get some money together. So you need to have a budget. You need to create some additional income. You need to save some money. So then what, if you have your money saved up, you need to make sure you have decent credit. You need a loan to buy these properties. So you start working on these little steps. Then let's say you, as you're doing that, read like one or two books. You don't need too much info in to get started in that. Uh, that's a, almost like a common mistake too. Is like, you need, they, everyone over educates themselves. I had someone asking me the other day, what kind of like trust to put in their LLC. Um, and they didn't have any properties yet. So I think what, um, you know, focus on the steps more than your end goal. Like if you want to buy a property and you just keep thinking, I want to buy a property, you're not going to ever get there. You need to focus on the process. So get, save up your money, make adjustments you need to start actually saving, get your credit uh, right, and then educate yourself. Then once you're at that point, then you need to get a realtor, get pre-approved, get a, start actually looking at deals, focus on those steps, and you'll actually get the outcome you want. So, I mean, that's one thing that I really like about real estate investing never gets old. I actually just really focus on doing these steps well. Like my, the deals I'm happiest about are when we execute really well. And actually my favorite deal is uh, a six unit that I bought and I turned it into a seven unit and everything went perfectly on it uh, in our execution. And that's this will always be my favorite deal because it's like it was just sort of everything we touched went perfectly and it was just all about the process and we were crushing it along the way. And I'm saying we, but it's just a deal I own on my own. And so it was really, uh, it was very, very satisfying to uh, succeed so well in the process. And I didn't, and that my end goal wasn't, oh, I just needed to be worth this much because uh, I would have never put one foot in front of the other, so to speak on that. So anyways, that's it. Have a good one. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, don't worry, you blew your New Year's, New Year's resolutions. You don't, even, you don't need them. Set a new goal. Focus on the process. We'll see you soon. Cheers. If you learned something from today's show, leave a review and hit that subscribe button wherever you enjoy your podcast. Dive deeper into real estate investing on Brenneman Capital's website, Brenneman.com, where we have numerous free resources and information that can help both active and passive real estate investors. Accredited investors can get started today as a passive investor in our multifamily investment opportunities by hitting the Invest Now button on our website. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are those of Drew Brenneman and guests as of the date of recording and do not purport to reflect the views or opinions of Brenneman Capital LLC and its subsidiaries. Views and opinions are provided for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon or deemed as investment or tax advice or an offer to buy or sell securities. The speaker cannot be held responsible for any direct or incidental loss incurred by applying any of the information offered.